Hey YouTube, this is allaboutandroids.com and today we have the HTC Sensation running Insert Coin Sense 4.0 Beta 4. And this is obviously ice cream sandwich. And uh, I flashed this about an hour ago. And in this video, I'll show you what I've noticed about the ROM. Please do note that this is still an early release and there are a decent amount of bugs but like always give the devs some time to work and in the near future we will have a full running Sense.0 uh, ROM for the HTC sensation so let's begin a couple of bugs that I've noticed right off the bat is when you install the ROM you need to go in and disable animations so as you're moving through the phone setup you have to continuously press one of the volume keys in order to um, see uh, your screen and then you have to go into settings into display and you need to make sure that you turn off animations turn those off once you've uh, done that you'll notice that uh, this ROM is really smooth and uh, some other bugs that I've noticed is Bluetooth doesn't work. If I try to turn Bluetooth on, this button right here is going to say turning on, and it's just going to kick back to Bluetooth off. So that's one of the bugs. I've noticed. Uh, I've noticed that uh, GPS is also not working. It takes really, really long to lock on to satellites and uh, it will sometimes just soft reboot the phone so there will be a fix coming up in the near future for that but uh, the camera camcorder both do work and uh, another bug I've noticed is I don't know if it's a bug but um, if uh, you hold the search button right here it just opens uh, recent apps it's been rerouted uh, from the home button uh, this is because the HTC One S the phone that the ROM is based off of doesn't have a search button but yeah we have recent apps there so moving on to features so we do have a new newly re uh, redesigned clock looks kinda nice it's smooth smoother transitions over here um, if I do click the clock it shows me the world map you could zoom up into the world map it's kind of new kind of unique so holding down the home screen you'll get a uh, widget window like the one here where you have all of your widgets you could choose for example if you want a clock So if I hold this down, it'll show me that I don't have any space on any of the windows. They've turned red. So I'm going to just delete this HTC watch. Hold down the home button. And you'll see it's a newly redesigned um, windows over here. I have uh, two windows I could put this on. So I'm just going to put it there. So Rome. So here's the clock, looks very nice. So you'll notice that the, the animations from one window to the other, they're, they look kind of different too. They're not the same, they're not as, the cube animation isn't as sharp, it's more rounded off. So um, it's kind of nice. Pressing the app drawer, apps aren't uh, up and down, now they're left to right over here and switching from uh, apps to frequent apps you'll notice that uh, the transitions over here are also rounded off cubish and they have some really nice uh, skins over here as well I'm gonna switch to aluminum 
Takes a few seconds there to switch. But now everything looks like an aluminum finish. Very, very nice colors. You've, uh, you should have seen that it was green before. Now it's this bluish, grayish aluminum color. So um, some other things. Uh, I've noticed that uh, you don't have the quick settings anymore. Just notifications from uh, scrolling this down. And uh, when you open up the app drawer, we have a market here, menu here, and a search button. That's also new. It's more ICS. Unlike uh, Sense 3.6, we don't have that button, those buttons here. So yeah, we have sort, manage, edit tabs, kind of nice. Just the market. It's still called market. It hasn't been changed to Play Store. But it does have the mar market button there. And... Uh, yeah, that's about it. I really uh, like this ROM so far. It looks really, really nice. Some really smooth transitions. And hopefully in the future, the devs uh, will fix most of the bugs. As of right now, it is uh, fully functional other than Bluetooth, animations, and uh, GPS. So it is fully functional if you don't use those things. So try it out if you can. Um, this has been all about Androids.com. Thanks for watching.